Howdy, guys. <laughs> chop, chop. Let's go. How you doing, Tech? Um, I am very, very happy to be here on this Saturday afternoon. Um, it is a glorious, glorious day. Um, my last day of school was yesterday, so I am off for the summer, which is great. Uh, my wife and I went to a farmer's market this morning. I went to the card show that I've talked about before that they have in town. Mm. It's been a lovely, lovely day, and we're going to continue that loveliness with some Pokemon Emerald. So, here, um, oh, yesterday was your birthday! Happy birthday, Tech! Aw. Happy, happy, happy birthday. Um, so there's more to explore here in Meteor Falls. Uh, we can exit down here. There's kind of like those little ledges you can jump over. Um, but what's up, JJ? Um, let's grab this. Oh, it's a Moonstone. Great. I don't know if we'll use one this round, but it's nice to have it. So if you have any Pokemon that evolve via Moonstone, you can do that. Um, so we can go down there to the next route. Um, it's actually a route that's like right above Rustboro City, um, where we fought the first gym. But usually I like to go there a little bit later in when I play this game. But, you know, if you've never played this game before and you want to go down there, you absolutely can. Um, so I'm kind of glad that we've worked our way through a lot of these trainers here. Um, there are a few more trainers in this route that I want to focus on. We have some stuff going on here. Let me just heal up the squad really quick. We have three potions. That's going to work nicely for us. We'll use all of these because we're kind of getting to the point in the run where potions are going to be a little bit phased out. Um, I'm going to just hit a little save here because I have anxiety. Um, but yeah, guys, it's been an amazing day. Um... If you're watching this on a replay, comment down below and say how your day was. Even if you're watching this in 10 years, let me know how your day was. So we got a few more trainers here on this route that we can clear out. Um, and we can get our boy Blaine some experience. Uh, I'm going to swap into Piccolo to make quick work of this Sand Shrew. Um, so as I was saying... Uh, I had the card show today, which is just a really fun thing that they do at the fairgrounds every couple of months in my town. Um, they have like, it's just like TCG stuff. There, there's a couple video game vendors, um, but it's mostly like Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh! and Magic cards. Um, mostly Pokemon, honestly, which is great because that's what I like to collect. Um, I'm going to Blaine for the Nuzly. Um, and I made some nice pickups. There is a Japanese set that I've been working on very slowly. I mean, for years now. Um, but I am kind of about two-thirds done or three-quarters done with that, which is really nice. Um, got a couple of those cards today. Um, there's a couple new cards from the new set that came out that I picked up that I was happy with. Um... Yeah, it was, it's a really, really fun time. I really enjoy going, just spending an hour or so looking around at all the vendors and seeing where I can pluck a deal or two. I always make sure I try to go in with a plan um, because I can really, really spend a lot of money if I'm not careful. Um, but... Yes, it's super, it's super fun. And I, I brought a few cards that I, just to trade. Nothing that's like any super, val anything super valuable or anything, but. Ba, 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 ba. Very creepy music for this fellow. Oof, 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 oof. It's a very creepy thing to say as well, my dear friend, uh, Pokemaniac Steve. I knew he had Neuron. Um, this is a horrific matchup for our friend Blaine, so we are going to go into our Ron and use our Mud Slab. Ooh, yes. Yes. I forgot. I'm like, does our Ron have Metal Claw? His is faster. That's crazy. It must have like a speed nature or something. 
You gotta love that accuracy drop. Just being able to do damage and drop accuracy is incredible. I hate that we're slower than this Iran. That's crazy to me. Um, very interesting. Because it's not like our boy Ron is lacking stat experience, but that critical hit is lovely. Alrighty. And that's all he's got. I think he's guarding a hidden item. Um, I've... I talked about it in a clip not too long ago, but just a lot of these hidden items are just like crazy telegraphed in rocks kind of off to the side or um, little patches of grass that are open. Um, and that Carbos is going to raise our speed, the, the speed of one of our Pokemon, which is great. Uh, maybe I need to give it to our boy Ron. He's slow as heck, man. Um, ba -ba -da -ba -da 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 -da. You know what? I think I will. Uh, let's see. Oh, I think I did. You were right, Tech. You're absolutely right. Is holding the Macho Brace. Thanks for reminding me. I completely forgot. That's why he's slower. Um, ah, Ziggy's got an item. What you got, Ziggy? Full heal. Lovely. That's a really nice pickup. Um, okay, so we have one double battle here. We'll get Guzzle going. Do -ba -do 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 -do. Oops. Um, we'll, we'll probably knock out some, some of the trainers that we skipped in this episode. I think we will go ahead and do some story stuff, um, because we were talking about, um, old Team Magma and their plan at Mount Chimney. I'm going to swap Blaine out of here because this Graveler will destroy it. Um... And I think we'll get into uh, to their nefarious deeds over there in Mount Chimney. Mm. Oh, that's a great switch. Yes. Yes. Oh, we're loving that. Wow, Piccolo really is, like, um, quite a bit higher than the rest of the team. Um, and it's really just those matchups against the Rock-type Pokemon. Here is the Graveler that I was talking about. Um, oh, I will have the gnarliest aggro on. You're so right, dude. Um, but, uh, yes, I knew a trainer had a Graveler, and there it is. Um, it was this double battle here. Oh, yeah. Easy peasy, folks. I love how Grovile kind of looks like a little Velociraptor from this angle. All right. So now, we're actually gonna hop up here. I wanna visit our girl, Lynette, in her little computer lab here. Oh, SEG, I'm sorry everything is so cluttered. She's engrossed in research, how about that? Oh, she gives us a low tad doll. I actually didn't even know that. Um, and that is something that we can put in our secret base um, if we decide to make one. We'll make one at some point. Um, secret power isn't really a move that I ever use. Um, I think over here there might be an item over there on that island. Um, I know there's an item up there when we can use, when we can scale waterfalls, so that'll be super fun. Um, let's pop in here and we're gonna do this. Oh, hold on, I can show you something else here. Alright, so if we pop over here, now that we have talked to her in her house, it should say... Lynette's PC. It used to say someone's PC. Now it says Lynette's PC, which is uh, which is cute. I like that. Um, and I think we only have Oddish in there, right? Uh, Oddish and Wingle, yes. Um, <laughs> your secret base is... Oh, I'm, I am messing up here. Um, your secret base is so secret you don't remember where it is? Hey, I have always thought there's a lot of places where you can do a secret base that are just really remote and I would never, ever remember. Or it would be just really hard to get to them. Um, so we did skip a lot of trainers on this route. So, oops, I did not mean to do that. I wanted that to be a double battle and I accidentally talked to that guy. Whoopsie. Uh, it's always easier to get your Pokemon some experience um, when they are in a double battle with a stronger Pokemon, but that's okay. 
Luckily, we have um, our bo our gal, Guzzle, here to fight the Skarmory, which, excellent Skarmory sprite. Look at that thing. It looks so great. As you all remember from our Crystal playthrough, Skarmory is one of my all-time favorite Pokemon, um, and commonly mistaken for being a Gen 3 Pokemon, spe uh, specifically because of this game. Ah, oh, and here's Swellow. Um... Swellow is the evolved form of Talo, which we encounter very early in the game. And it's a very, like, easy-to-use flying type. It's right there early in the game. It's just super solid. Has some good attack, good speed. It's kind of frail, but, you know, it's just solid, solid Pokemon. But, again, I wanted to use something a little bit more... Uh, a little bit more off the beaten path and pick up the Swablu here later in the game to be our... to be our flyer. Okay, great. I really wanted that to hit after that double team. Awesome. I actually don't remember when Ron evolves into Laron. It might be... I think it's in the 20s. It could be in the... uh... 30s. I'm actually not sure. So we have this gal up here. Um, no, Tech, the Taylor line is, um, normal flying, or flying normal. Um, I don't think there was a pure flying type until... Oh... What is the first pure flying type? I don't remember. There's very, very few. Um... Yeah, oh, it's mid-30s is when Ron evolves? That is kind of annoying. Um... But yeah, what are all the pure flying Pokemon? I know Tornadus from Gen 5 is a pure flying type. Um, gosh, I know there's a couple more. Oh, I think maybe um, the pre-evolutions of Corviknight. What are they called? Corvusquire and Rookity. I think they are pure flying type before Corviknight gets the flying steel. And that's Generation 8 for all of you folks that don't know Pokemon very well. That's way in, in, in the future. <laughs> We're still here in Generation 3. So yeah, there are not very many... Um, not very many pure flying types in the game. Yeah, Lombre is just a Pokemon that is so, so commonly used. That did a lot of damage. I was about to say, it better be a critical hit. Um, and one thing about Lane is that he just doesn't learn... Oh, no. Oh, wait, no, that's great. It doesn't affect Lane. That's great. Um, Nature Power can use Earthquake if you're, like, in the soil or, like, on the sand. And it's very great that Lombre is going for it now because we got Flying-type Lane here that won't get hit by it. But uh, that would be very terrible in most other situations because Earthquake is a very powerful uh, very powerful attack, as you know. Um, and I think in caves... Um, oh, it's only Rookity, Corvus Squire, and Tornadus. Okay, yeah, I was right. Um, yeah, I know, that's crazy. I, I feel like that's something they could definitely incorporate more. Um, oh, here we have this great route once again. Got the ash falling down. Uh, we'll use this. We'll collect some of that ash, actually. Oops fight this guy. Um, Volcano's eruption is, is proof that the Earth is alive. Oh, very cool. Yeah, there are a lot of trainers at this point in the game. Um, we... You know what we'll do? Fudge Cake. Even though we're not really using Fudge Cake much anymore, that's arm thrust is just gonna destroy this run. Okay, good. Better hit three times. It's not gonna knock it out. This is, um, special, like, strawberry iced tea that my wife made. It's really good. Mmm. Tech, I appreciate you. Thanks for stopping in, dude. Um, that was really, it was really nice. Really nice to see you today. ba ba da da ba da So we're popping over in here. I think we got this item already. Yes, we did. We fought that ninja boy in the grass, or in the sand, or the ash, whatever. <laughs> Um, I don't think this guy's a trainer. Ah, today's technology is a wondrous thing. Yep, absolutely, Tech. We'll see ya. Um, is there an item up here? No. I love these trees. These are really interesting trees. Just, 
again, this route is... This route really is, like, legendary among Pokemon fans. It is like an all... It's an all-timer. Um, and, I, and I feel like there's another route in this game um, that we'll get pretty well acquainted with that is just like... Wow, like classic, great music, great vibe, um, just so cool. Um, and here we have Spinda. Um, they're known for being on this route. I think we encountered one. Um, and I don't double hit my Swablu. That's way more frail than my than my Guzzle. Mm. Okay. Unfortunately. Although I do enjoy Torkoal, it is very slow. Don't kill Blaine! Gosh dang it, guys. I guess that's exactly what I was trying to do. <laughs> Just double hit into one of the Pokemon, but that still annoys me a lot. Um, hopefully this will get paralyzed. Nope. No such luck. I guess we'll have to hop back into town and... Heal up that, uh, heal up my boy Blaine. But well, that's alright. Um, I'm really excited to show you guys the rest of the team, um, that I've got planned. Because, again, it is, uh, I've got some, I've got some odd picks. And I've definitely got some, like, late game picks. Um, if you are playing this game for the first time, you can obviously use the team that I use. Um, do whatever you want, baby. But, uh, maybe for a first-time playthrough, you might want to just have your team set a little bit earlier on. That's usually how I am. But, again, I'm, I'm endeavoring to show off something a little different. A little different. So, here we are in Father Bore Town. Oh, yes, and this ash always resets when you, um leave the area here. There we go. But I will put up another repel. I'm pretty sure this woman only has one Pokemon. We got Blaine in the front. Ah, oh, what's Ziggy got? What's Ziggy got? This is just the beauty of, of having a Zigzagoon in your party. Um, I can't run into this one. <laughs> there we go. Filthy, yucky, volcanic ash from my dear Nummel, which is hilarious because Nummel is like a volcano Pokemon and probably literally produces ash. All right, let's try to put it to sleep. Yes, I have had incredible sing luck with Blaine lately. Which just means later in the game, I'm probably going to have some brutal <laughs> sing luck. Um, oh, come on. Sing has a way less chance of hitting than Fury Attack. There we go. Um, yeah, this is the challenge with having Swablu right now. It just doesn't have very good moves. And I am kind of trying to save a lot of my TMs for reasons that you will discover later. Um, so I don't really want to be using most of my TMs as we go along. Uh, let's see. Ah, yes. There we go. Have we fought this uh, here, homeboy? We have not. Yeah, I really skipped most of the trainers out here. Ah, Trapinch. This is an interesting Pokemon. Um, it is a ground type. Um, it is actually kind of one of the key Pokemon that you can find in the desert. Um, the desert that we can't access yet. Um, let's try a Fury Attack, see what we can do. And it has this ability called Arena Trap where it won't let you run away from it or um, switch out of battle, I'm pretty sure. Um, a really interesting Pokemon, has a really cool evolution line, um, and, evol and actually evolves into a very strong Pokemon that I'm sure a lot of people will um, use in their playthroughs of this game. So I definitely want to give a nice little shout out to that and where you find it in the desert because... Um, that is a really cool Pokemon to run when you're doing Generation 3 stuff. Um, nice Ether, love to see it. All right, so uh, we got our classic here, Guzzle and Blaine. 
Oh, nice to get an escape rope, too. Um... I feel like I did pick some slow Pokemon and some Pokemon that level up slowly as well. Um, oh, this is actually interesting because we're in the line of three trainers at once, but you'll only battle two of them. And then as soon as we're finished battling these two, we'll get into a battle with the guy that's sitting under there. Um, Um, I am once again afraid of this coughing blowing up, so I'm just going to not even mess with that. <laughs> oh yeah, great switch. Oh wait, no. <laughs> um, I thought I thought I was making the master plays, but it turned out it just missed. Nope. Let's just hit you with that. Um, there we go. And his, because self-destruct will actually hit his Aran too. That is something that you have to keep in mind when you use moves like that, is that it will hit all the Pokemon um, in the battle, even your allies. So, I might just... Ah, Ninjask! This is a really interesting Pokemon. This is, if you remember, the Ninkata that we encountered um, early on in our playthrough in Petalburg Woods. It evolves into Ninjask, and Ninjask is a really cool, like, really fast cicada Pokemon. Um, it's really, really neat. It has an ability called Speed Boost, um, which is really good and really interesting because it raises its speed every turn, which is crazy good, um, and makes it so that it's pretty much going to outspeed everything. Um, but uh, Ninkata is actually a split evolution and it actually evolves into another Pokemon that's very rare to encounter um, in a playthrough and actually has a really, really uh, interesting way that it evolves. Um, because essentially, it, uh, Ninkata will evolve into a Pokemon called Shedinja. And it's like the shed skin of an Inkata, oh, not of an Inkata, of a Cicada. Um, because real life Cicadas famously shed their skin and leave it all around. Where I'm from in Ohio, that will happen. Um, you'll see like empty Cicada skins like littered around. Um, and uh, it's really cool. And Shedinja is a really interesting Pokemon. It is a ghost bug type because it's like the skin that's left behind, it's like dead. It's really, really, really cool idea. Um, and I love it. Uh, but it's got this crazy ability called Wonder Guard, where you can only hit it with a super effective move. So if you're not hitting it with a super effective move, you literally can't affect it. Um, that said, it only has literally one HP. Literally one. So if you hit it at all, it dies. It's just a really interesting gimmick Pokemon. Um, I really like Shedinja. And if you're not ready for it, it can just completely screw you. Oh, and here's a new Pokemon, Baltoy. It is a very kind of like mysterious, kind of like clay idol type of Pokemon. It's a psychic type, psychic ground. Um, and this is another Pokemon that you can encounter in the desert. The desert has some really, really cool Pokemon um, that you can use for your playthrough. I'm actually surprised that I didn't think to um, run any of the desert Pokemon in my playthrough, but it's all good. Maybe next time. Or you guys can do it when you play your own. I always love to encourage that because... Um, a big thing that happens here is that my audience is very likely to be people that know this game and love this game already. But I always want to describe and talk about this game. Um, I want to, what's the word, describe it to people who have never played it before and give them some information that they could use if they ever want to play it for themselves. Um, because I love the game so much, and I really want other people to um, 
experience it as well. So here, when you kind of get trapped by these three guys, you just kind of got to slip through this little passageway through the trees. Um, and you can actually grab this little item behind this fella. It's a nugget! Hooray! And then we get one more item here. Super repel, great! Because we probably have one that's about to run out. Just collecting a little bit more ash there. All right, so now we are kind of through that little section. I'm gonna pop in here with the old grandma that lives in the cottage by the desert. Um, and we are gonna heal up. Lovely. And sometimes I use this little cut tree if I have a Pokemon that can learn cut. There we go. So now we're gonna hop back, oopsie, through the fiery path. Um, and once you do that little cutscene um, in Meteor Falls with Team Magma, you will find that you are able to get on the cable car. Um, here, I don't think we can use strength yet. No, we have the, TM, the HM for strength, but we can't use it yet. So we'll pop back through the fiery path here. And we'll fight this hiker that we haven't fought yet. We... Ziggy's got another item. Yes, I feel like Ziggy hasn't picked up a ton of items this run. Um, but he's having a nice little... Nice little resurgence here. Hiker Bryce! Um, let's see... Um, I am so excited to be off for summer, like I have explained. I am hoping that maybe I could stream a little more, or maybe a little longer. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how, how each session goes and um, how often we're going to be like with family or traveling and stuff. Because my wife and I will have a ton of free time, but we're, we were just planning today like things that... Oh, come on. Um like things that we can do um, during our free time and just kind of make the most of it. Um, that is so freaking annoying um, because burn halves your attack, so it's just not gonna make it worth it to even try to fight this Machop. Um, but, uh, so yeah, my wife and I were kind of making our summer bucket list of things to do um, while we're off. Ba -ba -da -da -ba -da. So now we can go through the cable car. I'll just use, I think I, do I have a burn heal or something? I probably do. I know I have a rost berry and that full heal will do actually. How many rost berries do I have? I have four. I don't usually do them anyway. Ah, no, never mind. Because if we look here, that's actually cool. I swapped Blaine out. Blaine has the ability Natural Cure. So since I swapped him out, the burn was actually healed. That's cool. Love that. But it actually has an adamant nature. I believe that increases its attack. Um, great. So I'm going to save here. Um... This is something that I've seen a lot on YouTube. When you go up the cable car, there's a very slight chance you will see a hiker hiking up while you ride the cable car. And I just love the vibes here. Let's check it out. Super cool. We didn't see the hiker, but that's okay. So now we're gonna pop here. We're at the top of Mount Chimney. You got this music going on. Um, so down here is where we wanna go, but these fighting grunts are blocking our way. What do they say? If they expand the land, there'll be less habitats for water Pokemon. We're going to keep making more land. And they have their little Poochienas fighting each other. Um, so we pop up here, and as you can see, we have Archie here fighting all three grunts at once, and his little Poochiena is uh, just moving a little faster. 
Grr, SCG, I should have guessed you'd show up. See for yourself what the fanatics of Team Magma are up to. They're trying to inject the stolen meteorite's power into the volcano. Doing something like that will cause the volcano's eruption. So yeah, Team Magma's trying to make the volcano erupt. Got some more guys fighting over here. And there's the liquid hot magma. Um, so now we got these people. And we got to fight a few of these Team Magma grunts. And this is actually the point of the game where we have our first fight with the leader of Team Magma. Um, and I'm excited about that. I think this is our first fight with either team leader. Which, spoiler alert, we'll have some fights with Archie too. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, a lot of times you'll kind of get into these double battles with the grunts, but I mean, they're, they're nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy. Let's just, we'll go double into the Nummel because it could use magnitude which, if you remember from Generation 2, could be a very powerful... Uh, um, can be a very powerful ground attack. Oh, wow, it hits first anyway. And that will hit Guzzle for some super effective damage. So that's not great. Um, I would love to see Body Slam hit through here. Man, I'd love to see that. Have I mentioned that Confusion is my least favorite status? It really is. Because not only do you miss your turn, you also hurt yourself. It is just a double whammy. Brutal luck on Fury Attack so far, by the way. Um, oh yeah, this is gonna kill Guzzle completely. That makes me so mad! Gosh, dang it. Ugh. Dang it. Now I, I gotta go back down the cable car, I gotta go heal everything. Oh, that's infuriating. Um, let's see. So now I'm just going to skip through this battle because I'm just angry. All right. Ron flinched. Yeah, this Zubat can't really do anything to us other than confuse us and ruin my day. And I was so happy that I didn't have to use that burn berry or rossberry because of natural cure so now sorry guys i'm just gonna scoot down the cable car there we go and now we're gonna run all the way back to Marvel city and i'm just gonna speed through it because we don't need to watch me do that whole entire thing um yeah, this is kind of like an awkward part of the game if you get stuck in a rut like I just was there um, and get some real bad luck. I mean, I, I might have a revive. I don't remember. Um, but I just didn't feel like checking. I really didn't. Um, but we have what could kind of be a tough fight here with Maxi, um, Team Magma's leader. Which, Archie and Maxie is a little bit on the nose, if you ask me, but hey. I'm not a game developer. So what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to pop over here. And there are a couple trainers that we did not fight um, before we fought Watson. There you go, nice antidote. And we'll fight a couple of them, because we have a nice little beach here. Um, and there's just a little bit of water that you can't traverse, so, um, this will actually be a very key area that we will return back to once we can surf. Um, oh, actually, this is interesting because, um, they have six Pokemon. And their levels are a little bit, uh, weaker than we've seen thus far. Hmm. Man, Guzzle is slow. Like, I know a tortoise is slow, but Guzzle moves fat, moves last every single time. Uh, I'm, ex I'm excited to use it on the squad, though. Um, because I don't usually use it. And these are, these are the things you find out when you use Pokemon that you never use. Um, and I'll save you the trouble. If on your playthrough you think about using a Torkoal and you're just like, never mind. <laughs> Too slow for me. 
do this ember. Oh, that's brutal. That's very sad. That makes me very sad. Do, do, do. I'm glad this poison thing can't poison Blaine, though. Ah, yes, that white smoke. I talked about that a little bit in a previous stream. Yeah, I know this lady has a lot of grass types that Guzzle can easily take care of. There we go. Paralyzed and can't move. Truly annoying. But this should be another one shot with Ember. I'm pretty positive. Two weak tackles. Wow. I will say, Guzzle is tanky. That I mean, you know, anytime they make a po any Pokemon stat really, really weak, they're compensating. They'll compensate for it in other areas. Like, Guzzle's pretty strong and bulky. Um, Safeguard is very interesting. I don't think we're going to use it, especially because we have natural cure because safeguard will protect us from like status moves um and if we get a status like in this case i actually will swap blaine out because once i do that it will be healed of its paralysis love metal claw pretty much all steel moves are like my favorite moves Oh yeah, and our, and our run is very slow, as we remember. Alrighty. Do -do -do -do. I am excited to kind of work my way through some of these trainers over here. Ba -ba -da -da -ba -ba. Sniff that odor, it's a poke nav. That's weird, Aroma Lady Rose. All right, ah, heart scale. This is interesting. I talked about the move relearner that we saw over by the volcano, and this heart scale is the item that that move relearner will take. Um, so you pay him with a heart scale, and he will teach a Pokemon a move that it has previously um, forgotten. So that's neat. So we might use that later. Um, all right. So Ziggy's got another item. Oh, a great ball. Lovely. And we got a fisherman and I believe a guitarist. Tentacool, this is, should be no problem for Blaine. It is nice to get another level here before we go into the maxi fight. Um, I'm just really annoyed with the supersonic luck that we're getting lately. It's making me very sad and very angry. Um, so I'm hoping we can not hit ourselves. Come on, three in a row. You'll love to see it, it's great. Forget the fact that we would definitely have killed it in two shots of Peck. You're killing me. I was beaten in heart. Ah, yes. What does he say? Let my melody rock your soul. I say that all the time with my band. Let my melody rock your soul. At Silver Cave Band. Let's see. Mm. I should have remembered that he has electric types and this would annihilate Blaine. So let's get Ron in here and use that mud slap. Um, Magnemite is four times weak against it. You would think that Magnemite would have the levitate ability like coughing does, um, but getting rid of that four times weakness is a little bit maybe overpowered. Um, so they decided not to give it levitate the ability. Even though Magnemite does literally meditate. Not meditate, levitate. Alright, Whismur. Um, let's see what Blaine can do against it. Ah, I was about to use the move Sing, but Whismur actually has an ability called Soundproof, um, where sound based moves don't work against it. And Sing, obviously, it sings to put the Pokemon to sleep. There's some good luck. Um, it sings to put the Pokemon to sleep, so. Uh, the soundproof ability would block the move sing, so I'm glad that I did not forget that. Um, yes, he gives, he gets your number. What does this lady say? I don't remember. Even if there isn't a boat, you can cross rivers and the sea if you have a Pokemon that knows surf. Um, which, uh, like I said, we will surf across this water when 
we get to it. Um, but for now, we're going to pop in here and save, and we're going to go back up to the top of Mount Chimney so that we can defeat Maxi and stop his nefarious plot. It is kind of interesting, um, because obviously in these games you can... Um, I'm going to turn this off so we can speed back to where we were. Because um, obviously in this game you can just kind of stop what you're doing and go back and heal your Pokemon and do whatever side whatever you want to do. And it's like we were just in the absolute middle of overthrowing a nefarious plot. But All right, let's see if we find the hiker this time. Still nothing. I've never seen it. I just heard that it's something that can happen. Hmm. All right. So. Let's pop back over here and see what we can do. I believe there is one more battle left against a Team Magma admin. And then we can fight the head honcho himself. So let's save. Ooh, eight hours on the dot. Love to see it. All right. I love this music. So you've come all the way here, but you're too late. I've already delivered the meteor meteorite from Meteor Falls to the boss. Mm. Magma Admin Tabitha would like to battle. And uh, Magma Admin is going to be like, it's kind of like the rocket executive, uh, the rocket executives that we encountered in gold, silver, and crystal. Probably not quite as strong as them, um, but it's kind of just like an elevated grunt, you know? Actually has a name. Um, and they're kind of like the little mini-bosses that you fight before the actual boss of Team Magma or Aqua. I would have loved to see a little bit more damage there. Would have loved it. Would have loved it so much, but that's okay. One weak ember is not going to do too much. All right, so now we got another Nummel. Oh, uh, we did get growled. I'll go into Guzzle. Oh, that's kind of a bad idea, actually, because it could magnitude us again. But that's okay, I've already committed. Um, Body Slam can do some good work, I'm sure. All right, magnitude four. That is one great thing about magnitude, because that's not very powerful. Um, but a magnitude 10, which there isn't that great of a chance of getting, but a magnitude 10 is like the equivalent of an actual earthquake, so. I guess I don't mean an actual real life earthquake. I mean an earthquake in the game. <laughs> da -da. Oh wow, that reminds me of, I used to live in California, as I've probably described before. I lived in Southern California, lived in LA. And I really only encountered one real earthquake and I will never forget, I was sitting in my apartment and I'm just like, there was a moment where I'm like, why do I feel weird? Why, why am I just like, what's, like, I just felt off. And that was just my body sensing what was happening without realizing it. Um, and then it just felt like my entire apartment was on like, on the ocean is what it felt like. And some, some of them can be more like a violent shake. Uh, but this one was like the earth just, like, breathed. Um, it was freaky, dude. Um, <laughs> probably not soon after that, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna move back. <laughs> I'm gonna move back home. Uh, yeah, I don't think the Zubat is gonna get Blaine all the way to level 22. Zubats kind of famously don't give much experience. Um... Yeah, T Tabitha here doesn't have very good Pokemon. Um, the levels are a little bit higher than the other grunts that we've encountered, but nothing too crazy going on. Oh, okay. I love a five hit right here. Just take it out. Just take it out. Just one more. Ah, uh, dang it. How unfortunate. But we'll get Ron here. We'll be fine. We actually don't have a very good matchup against... Um, Maxi. So we'll see what happens here, folks. I'm pretty, I'm pretty interested to see. Um, all right. So now we defeated Tabitha. Um, we're going to give our boy Blaine a super potion, get him back to full. 
Um, Guzzle will be fine. Now, he starts with a Mighty Enna, which is a Pokemon that we, or Mighty Ena, which is probably how you pronounce it because it's based on a hyena. Um, a Pokemon that we haven't really encountered yet. Um, and it is the evolved form of Poochina. Um, all right, so we're going to save here. And we'll talk to this guy. The power contained, contained in the meteorite by amplifying its power with this machine. Mount Chimney's volcanic activity will instantly intensify. Its energy will grow deep inside the crater and... Foo -foo -foo. Ah! Hmm, who are you? I'd heard Archie bemoaning a child who's been meddling in Team Aqua's affairs. It must be you, he meant. Hm, you're thinking of interfering with us, Team Magma? Now you listen. Long ago, living things used the land to live and grow. That is why land is all important. It is the cradle of all. That is why Team Magma is dedicated to the expansion of the landmass. It is for further advancement of humankind and Pokémon. And for that, we need the power of what sleeps within this mountain. Oh! There was no need for you to learn that much, but no matter, I'll teach you the consequences of meddling in our grand design. Mm. The uh, uh, Maxi and Archie music is great. You have that awesome little bass in the beginning. Um, so he's going to start with his Mighty Ena here. Um, and it's a pretty cool Pokemon, Dark type. Huge ability here. It knows an ability, or it has an ability called Intimidate, and that lowers your attack the first turn that you come in, which is why I wanted to start with Piccolo, um, because it uses its special attack stat with Bullet Seed, even though, as you can see, it's not doing a ton of damage. Um, so I think I'm going to try a different strategy here. Um, I'm actually going to use Screech on this Mighty Okay. And it's going to bite. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Fudge Cake. And Fudge Cake isn't going to be, again, too useful for us for the rest of the run. But with a lowered... I'm going to use a Fake Out. With a lowered defense stat... I feel like we should be able to take this out with a vital throw. That is, if we don't flinch on this bite. We got one more chance. Ah, sand attack, but that's great because vital throw never misses. It always hits second, but it never misses. So that kind of negates his sand attack. Very good. Very good. Good strategy here. Awesome. Ooh, Piccolo is actually very close to learning a very useful new move that we are going to need. Um, and Zubat is not one of Maxi's stronger Pokemon, so we are going to use our boy Blaine here. Alright. Even though this will probably do kind of a lot. Oh my gosh, with the critical hit. Are you kidding me? Um... I kind of want Blaine to get this experience, so I'll probably just feed him a super potion. There we go. There's a five hit. Love it. All right. I am actually curious to see what a Zubat from... A Zubat. A wing attack from the Zubat actually does. Does it do half? No. Um, it wouldn't. Of course it doesn't do half, or else a critical hit would have killed us. So we're kind of in that same range of where we were when we fought... Uh, <laughs> Uh, Watson's main metric, if you remember. Um, let's see. I'll just do this again. Oh, I forgot that he has super potions now. Okay, I'm gonna adjust my strategy just a little bit. See if I can... Gosh, dang it with the critical hit. Okay. Able to put it to sleep. That's fine. I always hate the little beater 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 that happens um all right we should be okay i'm hoping that zubat can be asleep for another turn or two because i believe two body slams is going to do it for us oh absolutely 
Oh, he's using another super potion. It's very interesting um, because usually he'll use those super potions on his ace Pokemon, but I am perfectly fine with him wasting them on his Zubat, especially since it stayed asleep that whole time. That's pretty lucky. Love it. Hmm. All right. So now, um, really the signature Pokemon of Maxi is a Camerupt. Um, we have seen the Pokemon Nummel, obviously, um, and Camerupt is the evolved form of Nummel. It is this Pokemon, and it really is just kind of a great uh, evolution of Nummel, literally. Um, where it's, you can really tell like the volcano on its back. It's kind of more of a burly camel Pokemon. It's really cool. I like, I like Camerupt. I honestly considered using one in our playthrough. Ah, I was hoping Ron would be able to get a mud slap off, but that magnitude six, it's gonna be four times super effective. That's gonna knock our boy out. I probably should have taken off the macho brace. Um, so we're not in excellent position here, gang. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use Ziggy um, I'm going to use Ziggy, and I'm going to see if I can put the camera up to sleep with our boy Blaine. Um, yeah, Ziggy's not going to be able to live much yet. Because I did kind of describe a little bit, we don't have the best matchup against this here camera up. I'm hoping we can live... Okay, we can live two embers. That's awesome, actually. Um, I do have a little plan here. I'm going to try to go into Piccolo. Good. And I'm going to try to lower... Good. Lower his defense a little bit. Alright, I'm hoping my sleep luck continues. And, and also... Lucky, luckily for us, even if he does wake up, he should use Ember here. Okay, awesome. Because um, I wanted to power up our Body Slam. Okay, good. I was really hoping it would not use Magnitude there against our Torkoal. Because um, with his defense down, yes. And Body Slam is pretty powerful. Oh, great! Awesome. Since he didn't go for the Magnitude, we're in a great spot and we should be able to knock him out now. Um... Yeah, we kind of really had to do a team effort there, um, just because we don't have a very good Pokemon to take care of a camera up right now, which might not bode too well for us <laughs> against the next gym. We might have to um, circle back to some of those other trainers that we skipped. But enough, I will back off this time, but don't think that, that is, this is the last time you've seen Team Aqua, even without the Meteorite, if Team Aqua, Team Magma, if we obtain that orb, what orb? Oh no. It disappears. Then we have our boy Archie, and he's just like, Thanks, SCG. We thwarted Team Magma's plan, but uh, whose side are you on, homie? <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> we will remain vigilant. Um, so, this is important. You pop over here to this weird machine. A meteorite is fitted on a mysterious machine. Do you want to remove the meteorite? Yes. Um, so, this is... A uh, nice little thing that you can do. We take the meteorite, and we probably won't do it right now, but you can return that meteorite to Professor Cosmo, who was at Meteor Falls and was very sad to lose it. And he will give you something very nice in return. Um, all right, this lady, she sells these things called lava cookies. Um, and I'm gonna buy a handful. I'm gonna kind of speed through this a little bit. Um, I'll probably buy like six. Um, and it's, it kind of takes a long time because you have to buy one at a time. Um, but what's good about these is that they only cost $200, but they are a full heal. And I think a regular full heal costs like $600. So it's like you're getting a full heal like way cheaper. Um, so here, let's go ahead and save. Um... I'm not going to fight any of the trainers here because our team is pretty weakened. This is Jagged Pass. Actually, do we have to fight this hiker? I don't know. If we do, we'll start with Guzzle. Okay, we don't have to fight this hiker. 
So here is just a cool little path um, that leads down the mountain, jagged pass. You see those little rocks over there on the right side. Um, if you, we got the acro bike instead of the mock bike, we would actually be able to hop up those rocks, which is a really neat thing. And if we ever want to do that, we can always go back and switch bikes, just like the guy says. This is a Team Magma Grunt. He is guarding something, but we don't know what. If we talk to him, he will fight us, so we'll fight him later. Um, here's a burn heal. And we'll fight these trainers when we, when we come back. But uh, we'll fight this last guy here. I'm pretty sure he has some grass Pokemon, um, so Torkoal is going to be great here. Um, but flinching a bunch won't be good. Awesome! Actually, oh, there's a Taillow. I will fight Taillow with my Swalu here. I need some water. Very thirsty today. It's very hot where I am. It's the summer really just kind of like crept up on us and just leapt out of nowhere seemingly. Um, but it's really nice. It's been gorgeous, beautiful days outside. Really lovely time. Um, yeah, Peck is not going to be as powerful as Wing Attack, huh? Oh, brutal miss. Come on, man. We are right though. I'm going to swap into Torkoal. Torkoal can really take anything from a Talo right now. Unless he gets a critical hit from this Focus Energy. Alright, we good. We good. There we go. So yeah, I will uh, hop back and fight some of those trainers on Jagged Pass. Um, and we'll probably backtrack there by Slateport, go to the beach, and fight some of those people. Because we're going to need the levels against what is next. Um, because here we are in... Lava Ridge Town. Really delightful little town. It is like tucked beneath the volcano, so you have these hot springs here, which is really neat. Um, and this lady, one of these ladies, I think her, I have here an egg. I'd hope to hatch it by covering it in hot sand by the hot springs, but that doesn't seem to be enough. Ah, uh, so she gives you this egg. I don't know if we need an open team slot. Yes, we do. Um, so we can pick that up later. Um, it is actually the egg of a new baby Pokemon that they introduce in Generation 3. It is actually a baby form of Wobbuffet, um, which is really interesting. Um, so we can pick that up later if we want. Uh, one thing I do want to show off here is here in the corner, this is not in other Pokemon centers, you can actually hop out and get into the hot spring. Ah, oh, the onsen. So cute. It's so lovely. It's just a, a good little thing that you can do. Um, it doesn't do anything. You can just talk to those people. Um, but it's just cute. It's just great. I really enjoy Lava Ridge Town. I think it's got a really nice vibe and a really cool kind of like um, cool lore about it, you know. Um, but folks, I feel like that's a really good place to call it for today. Um, this has been super fun. Um, it's been great to hop on here and play some Emerald to add to my glorious beginning of my summer vacation. Um, really excited to keep playing this. I will see you all um, later this week we'll play we might be playing some Yu-Gi-Oh we'll definitely go back to Emerald um, and if you're watching on YouTube thank you just like this video if you want to and uh, that's pretty much it we'll get back into more Emerald soon peace out kiddos